Hey Fraggle friends, welcome to the Al Yanoop Stadium. I recently started a series on the World Cup stadiums in Qatar and I think this is about the fifth stadium I'm visiting now. So let's check out this Al Yanoop Stadium behind me here. First again, I'll give you some facts about the stadium. Then I'll show you what the direct area around it is like, how far it is from Doha, or if you're looking for places to stay in the area. And then we'll end up with a list of matches that will be played here for the World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Let's go! The stadium was officially opened on the 16th of May 2019 with the final of the Amir Cup. And the Amir Cup is actually a contest held between local football clubs in Qatar. The final match was played between the clubs of Duhail and Al Sadd. And if you want to see the video of that, I made that back in 2019, which shows you the opening ceremony and some views of the inside of the stadium as well. So it's really worth having a look at. I'll link it here on screen, otherwise you'll find it in the description below the video. The Al Yanoop Stadium was designed by the British architect Zaha Hadid. And the actual design of the stadium, well, different people recognize different shapes in it. But the intention was actually to make it resemble the hulls of the Dow boats that have been in use here along the coast of Al Wakra for a very long time. Like other stadiums, this stadium also has a retractable roof with arches that are 230 meters long. It is said that the cooling system of the stadium can cool it down to 18 degrees in the spectator area and down to 20 degrees at the playing field area. But let's see how it's going to be in real life when the matches are being played. What does help is that the World Cup will be played in the winter when the average maximum temperature is around 25 degrees Celsius during the day. The capacity of the stadium for the World Cup 2022 will be 40,000 seats. And after the World Cup the capacity will be reduced to 20,000 seats. A few press articles have been released saying that parts that are no longer required after the match will be donated to other countries. The Arab Cup 2021 will also be played soon and some of the matches will be played here in the Al Yanoop Stadium. And I can already see the preparations for that going in full swing. Directly around the stadium there is a really nice park, perhaps not as big as for example the Albaid Stadium's park, but still really beautiful, with uh, a cycling path, running track, public fitness machines and also play areas for the kids. The site of the Al Yanoop Stadium lies slightly outside of Doha, in the town of Al Wakra. Probably the highlight of Al Wakra to visit is the Al Wakra Old Souk. It lies directly on the waterfront and has quite a few cute little restaurants to go and visit. Then there is also the uh, old Al Wakra Fort, 
which was recently renovated. Looks really nice from the outside, but unfortunately is closed for any visits from the public. If you wanted to take a taxi or an Uber ride from Doha city centre towards the Al Yanoub stadium, the ride time will be about half an hour and cost you 29 Qatar rials, which is the same as about 7 euros or 8 US dollars. And then if you wanted to stay in a hotel near the Al Yanoub stadium, good options could be the Souk Al Wakra hotel. Time Rako hotel. Or the Wakra Inn Apartments. Looking at the match schedule for the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022, you can see that there will be seven matches played at the Al Yanoub Stadium, six group stage matches, and one round of 16 match. And that's all I have for you for the Al Yanoub Stadium, built specifically for the Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup. If you do have any questions, be sure to write them down in the comments below. I will definitely get back to you. Any questions about any of the other activities I do, always welcome as well, of course. And then I'll hope to see you very soon in my next video. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that now, so my next video will appear in your feed. Or even better, of course, click the bell and you will receive a notification when the next one comes out. Alright, see you soon Frago friend, thanks for watching!